I own 20 acres of porous limestone karst, a geological sponge that feeds the county's deepest wells. It's not just land, it's a critical aquifer recharge zone protected by state law since the 1980s. The surface is rugged, full of sinkholes and fissures that drink rain like a thirsty giant. Then Apex Logistics bought the flatland adjacent to my southern border. They needed a massive fleet storage yard for their semi-trucks. They saw flat rock, I saw a fragile ecosystem. The site manager, a guy named Brock, told me they were going to cap and seal the area with six acres of impermeable asphalt. I walked the line with him and explained the geology. If you pave this, I said, that water has nowhere to go. You're building a swimming pool on top of Swiss cheese. The hydrostatic pressure will blow out the limestone. He laughed and patted his clipboard. We've got the best engineers in the state, he said. We're diverting the runoff to a retention pond. Don't worry about your rocks. They didn't listen. They didn't even do a core sample. They graded the land, poured thousands of tons of asphalt, and parked 50 heavy haul trucks in neat rows. For three months, it looked like a fortress of industry. Then the tropical storm hit. 12 inches of rain fell in 48 hours. Usually my land and the surrounding fissures would drink that water instantly. But Apex had capped their side. The water hit their asphalt raced to their retention pond, which overflowed in an hour, and then looked for the path of least resistance. That path was directly underneath their new parking lot. The water found a small fissure they had paved over. It forced its way down, pressurizing the cavern below. The air trapped in the cave system had nowhere to vent because of the asphalt lid. The pressure built up until the limestone roof couldn't take it anymore. I was drinking coffee on my porch when I heard the sound, a deep grinding crack that shook the ground like an earthquake. I looked out just in time to see the center of their parking lot vanish. A massive sinkhole 200 feet wide opened up in seconds. It wasn't a slide, it was a swallow. Three brand new semi-trucks, a bulldozer, and their mobile office trailer were sucked into the earth. The asphalt shattered like glass. The water finally free rushed into the hole, creating a whirlpool of mud, oil, and twisted metal. The county emergency response team arrived and condemned the entire site instantly. Their best engineers hadn't accounted for karst collapse. Because they hadn't performed the mandatory geological impact survey, their insurance provider declared the event gross negligence and denied the claim. Brock stood at the edge of the crater, staring at a semi-truck hanging by its bumper. I walked up to the safety tape. I told you the earth needed to breathe, I said. They wanted a parking lot, but they built a multi-million dollar wishing well. Hit like and subscribe if you think nature always bats last.